2023 election. We defeated Lion of Bodylon in Oshun. We will finish him in Lagos. PDP to Tinubu. Hey, this is serious. Ah, so they are telling Tinubu that they defeated him in Oshun State. They will defeat him again in Lagos, right under his nose. Very optimistic. The People Democratic Party PDP said it will it defeated the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Asuaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in the last Oshun State governorship election, adding that they will finish him in Lagos. PDP National Chairman Senator Iocha Ayu stated this on Wednesday when he received reports of the Lagos Oshun Reconciliatory Committee headed by Eitayo Jegede San. Ayu, who commended the committee, said their recommendations will help the party to resolve all issues. The PDP National Chairman said, since you were inaugurated to help us handle the issue of reconciliation in Lagos and Oshun, and lately in Ekiti, you have done a very wonderful job. Firstly, regarding initial problems we had in the States, you have helped us with interventions and recommendations to overcome some of these difficulties leading to the marvelous victory we have in Oshun State. This is an achievement worth celebrating. Lagos again looking very promising. PDP will have a governor in Lagos and several positions, the Senate, House of Assembly, and so many other positions, and of course, crown it with a massive victory of our presidential candidate. We defeated a line of body law in Oshun, and we want to finish a good job in his residence in body law. We can see that we can see that happening because we saw him shouting, God bless PDP. <laughs> that was the rally in a, in, a, in Plenty State, just. He noted that if the party is united, it will be easy for PDP to win most elections in 2023. Earlier in his remarks, the chairman of the committee also assured that with unity of purpose, PDP will sweep Lagos State. Jagada explained, we were able to come up with a memorandum of understanding bring together the expectations of every person and more importantly the hope and desire of all of them to work together to achieve what we hope will be our victory come February presidential election and March governorship in 2023 and State House of Assembly. Hmm. So Mr. Jagede headed a reconciliatory uh, committee uh, between Ushun and uh, one other state there, and the report was presented to the PDP national chairman, Iyocha Ayu, who appreciated them for the good job. And then what we are hearing here, Jagede is uh, saying that the reconciliation committee uh, for between Lagos and Ushun went very well. And now um, they are ready to sweep more states and then to crown it with the presidential success in the, during the presidential election. Hmm. So this is a good one. This is a very good hope. This is a very good hope. But with the kind of crisis that is rocking PDP, how will this happen as well? Because the crisis rocking PDP through Mwike and the G5 governors is getting deeper and deeper. Now he's here um, receiving this um, this report from a Itayo Jagede San. And uh, meanwhile, at the back end, uh, his presidential candidate and five other governors are already at war. So, and some uh, APC spokesperson, um, uh, Femi Fanekaide said yesterday or so or the first today that PDP has lost a stronghold in the southeast and is losing more in other states. And called said PDP, they are like a man with only one testicle that cannot function properly. 
So all of them are just bashing each other from left to right, left to right, left to right. You know. So after Femi 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 Fanica already has mentioned that and published now this is Iocha are you saying that they will win everywhere because they see that coming. Having um won Ushu State, they won uh, the Ekitis. No, they won Ekitis State, it was Ushu State. All right. So and they won in this landslide, even though the case is being challenged in the court at this moment. So he is saying that to crown it all, they will come to Lagos and then they will win the line of Bodilon in Lagos. <laughs> hey, uh, that PDP we have a governor in Lagos come 2023. And I love that. That is what everybody actually wants to see. Because the PC government in Lagos has turned Lagos to Agbero State and nobody is comfortable in Lagos anymore. But does PDP in Lagos have the lever to win election? Do they have the machineries? Do they have the structures? Do they have the resources? Do they, do they have the balls? Because just like what Femi Faneka uh, referred a, a PDP to be, like a man that has just one testicles, meaning they don't have the complete balls, meaning they don't have the, the complete courage to do the needful, and so they will continue to lose. So the question is, the PDP that we have in Lagos State, does it have the balls to do what it takes to win election in Lagos from APC? Because the APC I've seen in Lagos has entrenched itself to a point that they can do anything to make sure they don't lose it. And that is where the problem is in Lagos State. It's every year and every election Election activities in or voting activities in Lagos used to have massive violence at some polling units, especially the areas where the southeasterners, the Igbos, have the largest number to vote. They will make sure that the P, uh, APC thugs and APC, mach APC machineries go to such locations to go and cause trouble to make sure they don't vote. And by so doing, they deprive the, the immigrants in Lagos uh, opportunity to vote. That has been the strategy over the years. They know the areas where the Igbos outnumber other people. They know the areas where other people that migrated to live in Lagos outnumber the real Lagosians. So they go to those places and they cause mayhem, they cause trouble in those places. And before you know it, election will scatter. And then they will go and count what they have and they will say APC has won. Moreover, Right from the time, um, um, for a very long time, that PDP people have been have been, you know, disenfranchised in Lagos. That PDP uh, state governorship candidates have actually been losing serially, and when they lose the ball out, what they do is they go back to their enclaves, and you never hear them again until the next election comes. Right, On, right from the time. Of the death of Fusha Williams, people have not, PDP and the real owners of a cool Lagos have actually been shying away from the real dirty job that will make help them to recover Lagos from the hand of the kidnappers, the people that have kidnapped Lagos from them. So the real eco people are disenfranchised and now are helpless. And they are the people that make up PDP. So how will they wrestle Lagos out of Tinubu's hand and out of APC hand? So this one in Yocha Ayo is saying they will come and win the line of body Lord in his house. Just like they won him in Oshun State. I don't know how that will work. We know that of Oshun State because um, in Oshun State, I think uh, some parties had to you know, step down and line up behind PDP. And that was how PDP won the election because everybody in Oshun State is tired of APC and Oyetola's government. And immediately, the INEC transmitted the election, the vote count, electronically from the polling unit, and everybody in the whole world was counting it, and it immediately became glaring that PDP had won. Tinubu just angrily, you know, just drove out of Oshu State unceremoniously. He came in ceremoniously and left unceremoniously, and it was noticed by all. So, and that is what Iocha Ayu is referring to here, that they won him in Oshu State, and they will win him again in Lagos, right in body law.
uh, IU. Good luck and good luck for the whole of PDP. Let's see how that works out for him, both in other states and right there in Lagos and then across the nation. Remember, there is still deep crisis around Atiku's neck, around Iyokcha Ayu's neck, uh, you know, versus the aggrieved G5 governors. That has to be resolved first. So thank you for listening, and let's have a comment below. This is the hope that Iyokcha Ayu has for PDP in Lagos State and across the country.